today we are thinking all about God's great, great love for us. God welcomes us and longs for us to turn to him. And Bill and I are going to tell you today, we're going to tell you a story from the Bible, a story that Jesus told. And it can be found in Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. So, there was a father and the father had two sons. Two sons. And they, were, they lived on a farm. And on the farm, the eldest son was a really, really keen worker. He used to help out and he, he would do lots of work. He would do lots of the digging. He would work really, really hard for the father. But the younger son, he was a bit different. He was... Yes, he was. He was lazy. He'd sit down and relax in the house um, and enjoy, just enjoy chilling out. But he wouldn't help out and work really hard like the older son. Anyway, this lazy younger son was lounging around and then he thought to himself, I've got an idea. What was that? Well, his idea, his idea was to go to his father and ask for his inheritance, ask for his money. So the next day he went to his father. I know, he went to his father and he asked his father for his inheritance, for his money. But his father said no. No, he didn't. His father gave him his inheritance, gave him his money there and then. Can you believe it, Bill? And so what he did was he then packed his bags, the younger brother, packed his bags, took all his money and he went away. He went away. And as you can imagine, with all that money, he became very popular, he made friends and he started spending that money, throwing that money all away, spending it on this and that, wasting it all. And then he had no money left, no money at all. And he wasn't so popular then, he had no money. So he needed to go and get himself a job. And the job that he got was feeding the pigs, feeding the pigs. And he was sitting and he was doing this job and he was getting hungrier and hungrier. He didn't get too much money and he was getting hungrier and hungrier and pretty sad too. And he was thinking, hey, I'm sitting here thinking about even eating the pig food. <laughs> yuck, yes, yuck thinking about eating the pig food and my father's servants back on the farm are doing much better than this. They're happy and they've got plenty of food to eat. I know what I'm going to do. I've got an idea. What was his idea? Well, his idea was to go back home, go back home and say sorry to his father, say sorry for running away, for spending all the money and asked his father if he could come back as a servant. Well, meanwhile, all the time back at home, yes, his father and his brother, well, what do you think they were doing? <laughs> yes, they were, they were digging, they were busy working on the farm. Really busy, busy working. But all the while, the father was looking out and longing and waiting, loving his son the whole time, hoping that he might come home. Well, back to the younger brother. The younger brother decided to make that trip back. Yep, he was tired because he was hungry and he took a slow, slow walk back towards back towards his family home. And then as he was approaching, he thought he saw something. Was that the father? It was, the father was there, longing and waiting for him to come back. And even though 
He was the youngest son, was tired. When he saw him, he began to run. And they ran towards each other. And they had a big hug. A big hug. And just as the younger son was about to say how sorry he was, the father said, you were lost and now you are found. I am so glad you are back, my son. And he then put on a really big party, a really big party. He was delighted that his son had come home. He loved him and he was longing to welcome him back. That's a great story. It absolutely is. And Jesus told that story because the Father is God. God loves us and he longs to welcome us, to welcome us. He longs for us to come to him. And just here, I have got a verse from the Bible, just here, and it says this, but there's some gaps missing. And I wonder if you can work out what those gaps might be. So it says here, the Lord is something and something. Do you know what that might be? Slow to something and rich in something. You might want to pause the video and have a chat about what those words might be. The Lord is something and something, slow to something and rich in something. And maybe you might even know where in the Bible to find this verse. So here we go, here are the answers. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. And we find this verse in the book of Psalms, Psalm 145 and verse 8. Wow, what a great verse. What a great verse to learn and to remember. So let's remember today that God loves us and he longs to welcome us.